Gospel of May the 15, 2016, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit that the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a peek of the, of the second reading today, which is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God, but you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the Spirit. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Him. We are not debtors to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. If you, for if you live according to the flesh, you, you will die. But if you, but if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. If we are children, then heirs, heirs, heirs to God and joint heirs with Christ. If only we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. All right, first of all, there seems to be like a catch-22. In the first place, we need to love God to ask for the Holy Spirit. But in order to love God, that is to love Jesus Christ, first we need to be illumined, granted by the Father. So let us today, I ask you humbly, to do three things along with me. The first one, let us renounce again and forever to Satan. I will ask you, and even though you are only seeing me through this medium, the Holy Spirit will be with you. So please say yes. Do you renounce forever to Satan? And you should say, yes, I do. Do you renounce to all his seductions forever? Yes, I do. From the bottom of your heart. And now we can say, do you believe in God the Father? And you should say, yes, I do believe. Do you believe in His only Son, who was who became incarnated, suffered, died on the cross, and was resurrected, and ascended to heavens, glorified, and will come second time for our judgment? You should say, yes, I believe. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? giver of life, you should say, yes, I believe. Now, let us say, I forgive everyone who has harmed me, especially those who harm me unjustly, especially those who have harmed me so much that hatred was imposed by them on me. I forgive them. And I ask Jesus Christ to take away any hatred. Any resentment that I have in my heart. I put it at the base of His cross. Along with all His tribulations. So that I might be redeemed. And now, I ask the Father to make it true in my heart to forgive each and every one of my debtors as He has forgiven me. Repeat it with me. Now, Father, I ask you humbly to 
again give me your Holy Spirit as light to illumine my mind, my body, my heart, in order to get closer to the Lord Jesus Christ. Grant me to love Him and through Him love you and keep His words and your words, that you might be able, as you are willing, to send upon me your Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit to guide me, to dwell in me, that I might love you always and keep your commandments, that you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit may dwell in me forever. Amen. Dear brothers, today, because I pray for you, and you yourselves ask of God this, His love, which in the first place He is most unwilling to give you and me. This is true. We do receive the Holy Spirit again. Not because I am saying anything, but because He wants it. God wants it. If you want it, God wants it. God wants to have you close to Him in His heart, and He lives with you in your heart. Let us all pray that the whole children of God become one, that we might be united in the holiness and love of the Holy Spirit. And let us prepare ourselves to be changed that we might become true sons in the Son by our everyday deeds, day in and day out, until we meet in heaven. God bless you all, brothers.